So a new federal bill has been introduced, and this one seeks to regulate all semi-automatic rifles with detachable magazines as NFA items. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think it's time to repeal the NFA, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is KAK. KAK is a high volume precision machine shop producing over a half a million components every single month. So next time you're putting together an AR build, head on over to KAK Industries website where they sell you everything but the lower for your build. Also go ahead and use code armscholar 10 for 10% off of your order. Thank you again, KAK, for sponsoring this video. So the federal bill that has been introduced that we're gonna be talking about in this video is HR 4953. The working title of this bill is to amend the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 to subject to the requirements of the National Firearms Act any semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine. This proposed bill was authored and is being presented by Ted Deutsch out of Florida. And currently there is no actual text of this bill. We just have the working title. And so we can get a general gist of what he's attempting to do with this. But as of right now, we don't have the text. And when we do get the text, my assumption is we're gonna see a lot of these common things that I'm talking about in this video pop up. One thing we do have as of right now is a comment that Ted Deutsch actually put out on his Twitter page. And he stated that Congress passed the National Firearms Act after the 1929 Valentine's Day Massacre to tightly regulate certain machine guns and shotguns. After 2018's V-Day attack at MSD and others, it's time to update this law and regulate the weapon of choice in mass shootings, semi-automatic rifles. So again, this proposed bill is all geared around targeting the common semi-automatic rifle with the detachable magazine. So pretty much just any AR-15, any AK style rifle at all, those most common ones are being targeted by this bill. Now, likely what we're gonna see when the text comes out of this and what we can kind of gather from the working title and kind of Tej Deutsch's statements is that they're gonna to try to regulate semi-automatic rifles with detachable magazines in some way under the NFA, likely a registry and a tax stamp, similar to how they do with SBRs, or they could try to cram semi-automatic rifles into a broad definition of machine guns like we've seen them do with other things like bump stocks recently. We've seen the ATF just arbitrarily redefine the whole definition of bump stocks. So there could be a broadening of definitions under this proposed bill to bring semi-automatic rifles with detachable magazines into a definition of a actual uh, machine gun, or they could do something completely new and draft some completely new language. Now, as of right now, this bill has eight current co-sponsors and they are Andre Carson out of Indiana, Jim Cooper out of Tennessee, Mark DeSaliner out of California, Mondaire Jones out of New York, Alan Lowenthal out of California, Jamie Raskin out of Maryland, Debbie Wasserman out of Florida, and Akima Williams out of Georgia. So those are the current co-sponsors of this bill. And likely as this kind of goes on, like I said, this is a new bill, we will likely see more individuals, maybe more house reps jump onto this bill, likely going to be more Democrats trying to push this bill and get it passed. The whole likelihood is that this won't get passed just because, especially in the Senate, uh, they're gonna need 60 votes, 50-50 split right now. And with the filibuster, just pretty much anything like this won't get going right now. Could still pass the House. We've seen some recent bills, some anti-gun bills pass the House themselves. But if it gets to the Senate, as of right now, the current makeup with the filibuster, this should die, but you never know. So I still recommend reaching out to your local representatives, let them know you don't support this bill. And the reason being you should still be active on this and let your representatives know is because this would have huge impacts and implications if it were to ever pass. Essentially every single rifle with a detachable magazine would then be regulated under federal law potentially as a machine gun, as an SBR, or something completely different, likely going to have a registry aspect or component to it, some sort of taxation. So we definitely don't want that. And even more so in more restrictive states like California, which you would see with these semi-automatic rifles, you would have to comply with state laws. So for example, in the state of California, you have the assault weapons laws. And to get around those laws, you have to configure your rifles in specific ways to make them featureless or fixed. But even doing that, let's say in the state of California, you have a configuration that is featureless or fixed. You are still gonna have that same rifle regulated as an NFA item, gonna have to register it maybe with the federal government, pay a tax stamp, whatever it is, whatever this bill is attempting to do. So you can see how this is just gonna be completely burdensome not just on a more restrictive states, but just everybody nationwide. 
Now, as of right now, this bill was referred to the committee in the House of the committee is the Ways and Means. So it's going to work through that committee. And like I said, we could maybe see more co-sponsors jump onto this. But as of right now, eight co-sponsors, not a huge, huge threat, but I want to put it on your guys' radar because it's not getting a ton of publicity, especially since we don't have the text right now and it's kind of going behind the scenes. I'm not sure what's going on with them releasing the text. Maybe they're trying to hide what exactly this is trying to do. Um, but just contact your local representatives, let them know you oppose this and shut this down before it even really gets going. One last thing I want to mention is that if you have not yet commented on the ATS proposed rules of frames and receivers or pistol braces, please go do that after this video. As of right now, the frames and receivers comments are a little bit lower than the pistol braces one, as well as the frames and receivers proposed uh, rule and the commenting period is going to close before the pistol braces one. So especially go comment on that one. Please go comment on the pistol brace one as well, but we have much less time to get active on the frames and receivers. So again, go drop a comment on those. Let the ATF know that you do not agree with their redefinition of all these items and them trying to expand their powers and regulate more things and infringe on our second amendment rights. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you guys like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm. It helps a signal to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos, in this type of two-way news, and then it pushes it to more people. I cannot thank everybody enough uh, who has liked, commented, subscribed on my last videos. You guys are really helping me to reach more people, helping me to spread the word about two-way news like this. So thank you so much for doing that. Go ahead and drop a comment down below that you're commenting to fuel the algorithm, fuel Al Gore's rhythm, helping to fuel his jet, whatever you prefer, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And also if you're a new subscriber, comment down below that you're a new subscriber, or if you're a lurker and you just recently subscribed after watching a few of my videos, comment down below that you're a subscriber now, and I'll make sure I comment back to you. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and never get this nation with built by armed scholars and stationally maintained by armed scholars.